that are not listening, Lamar Jackson wasn't playing good before he got hurt, and he saw his stock dropping. Facts, facts, and facts. And he did not want to lose more money. Another fact. Alpha Rob, three points for you, my man, because you are spot freaking on. Many people are out there, Alpha Rob, and Baltimore Raven world, the fa- the haters, the trolls of the man hour. You guys understand that Lamar Jackson turned down a $250 million contract, $130 million guarantee to start the season. He turned that down. He said, no, that's not good enough for me. I'm the best quarterback in the league. Yes, the first three or four weeks, he was balling out. Oh, and they're like, oh my God, he's going to be like a $350 million quarterback. Now he's going to be a backup in the NFL. Like, he is not going to be a Baltimore Raven next season. I put a poll out there or a a post out there giving five possible landing spots for Lamar Jackson. Being the Las Vegas Raiders, Miami Dolphins, uh, the New Orleans Saints, the New York Football Jets, and if the other team was, slipping my mind right now. Shoot, what was the other team, team, team guys? It was the Jets, Saints, Miami Dolphins. Man, I'm going to have to look it up. But either way, and people are like, oh, no, he's he is going to get franchise tagged. Yeah, he probably will get franchise tagged. You are absolutely right. He, he will probably get franchise tagged at the end of the day. Absolutely 100% agree. But he is not going to get that $150, $160, $250 million deal. He is not that guy. Guys, when, when we think of bridge quarterbacks, right? Jared Goff was going to come in in Detroit and be that be that bridge quarterback, right? He was going to basically be a placeholder. Hey, man, just don't suck too bad, but suck enough where we can get a number one overall draft pick and then draft the quarterback, draft your replacement. Jared Goff says, hold my beer, not so fast. We're going to make a playoff run, baby. That's exactly what Jared Goff did. Now, people are saying, oh, Jared Goff is definitely worth that money. Lamar Jackson, when times got tough, he said, man, my butthole is puckered up enough, and uh, I'm just not going to play. You guys are going to see how much you miss me in the end, right? Tyler Huntley's better than you, Lamar Jackson, for the Baltimore Ravens. So, Lamar Jackson definitely lost a lot of money from week four to week 18 of the NFL season. Because of his play, because of his injury-prone, uh, like, He's very injury prone. And the fact that, let's just be flat honest, he quit on his team. He quit on his team. 